Alright guys, what is up? And today I'm going to bring you guys a gameplay that you guys have never seen on my channel on the, what, three year existence that it's been here, I believe. And this, and well, yeah, I don't think there ever has been a gameplay on my channel like this. This is a gameplay where I actually lose a game. Um, about halfway through, um, yeah, about halfway through Modern Warfare 3 is pretty much when I started really, uh, stop losing games for the most part. Um, you know, uh, win loss became a really big factor in my pretty much when I play video games, and uh, I pretty much made it my goal to make sure that I don't lose games. And about partway through Black Ops 2, I made it my goal to not even get losses from dashboards and stuff like that. You know, I started forcing host on Call of Duty, and then in uh, Call of Duty Ghost, I started forcing host as well, and like you know, only playing on our host. <coughs> Excuse me, there. Just woke up a little congested. But, um, yeah, basically, uh, this right here is a game where we actually lost a legitimate game. This is only my second legitimate loss in Call of Duty Ghosts. I've only lost one legit game before, and what I mean by legit is the fact that I have six losses. This right here is my most current loss, my sixth loss. And, uh, only two of the six losses are legitimate. The rest of them are either connections, times out, or, like, getting timed out, or, like, the host dashboarded when we didn't have host. So, yeah, basically, um... That's what happened right here, and I'm going to kind of break down this loss for you guys can see I'm speeding it up right here. The start of the game was kind of boring. Um, not really a whole lot happened. It was pretty much just me running around at the start. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to start breaking down this loss for you guys and pretty much how I did lose. So um, I'm using an assault package, which I'd recommend on Stonehaven just because uh, if it's a competitive game, you're probably going to want some streaks that can you know, help protect your flags because you're so far away from them. And um, pretty much... There's two main reasons why we lost this game. Uh, first of all, we were in a party of three, and uh, I normally only play in a party of four for domination. I usually don't play anywhere from a party of four to six. Um, sometimes five, sometimes four, sometimes six. It doesn't really matter. But this game, we're only playing in a party of three, and someone backed out before this game started, and I thought to myself, should I just leave? Should I really risk the chance of you know our randoms being that bad? And, uh, of course, that's pretty much one of the reasons that we lost was that we had, uh, randoms that com the other three randoms combined, I think, for four captures, and, uh, two of the randoms, which were split screeners, they went, uh, a combined total of four kills and, like, 45 deaths, so, um, yeah, they're pretty much the reason we lost this game, and another contributing factor that was big was the fact that it was Stonehaven, that, um, it seemed like on this map, because we kept fluctuating flags so much, taking them, capturing them, then defending them, and then, you know, losing them, and then capturing them back, was the fact that, um, just me personally, I don't know about my other two teammates, because they did pretty good themselves, uh, pretty much, um, We'd be sitting at A, we'd be defending A, and then we'd lose a flag at C. So, you know, I'd have to run all the way over to C. And since it's so far and it takes legitimately about 30 seconds to get there, um, you know, 20, yeah, about 20, 30 seconds to get to the other flag, um, you know, by the time I got to C and started fighting to capture it back, um, you know, we'd be losing A and lost A, and then maybe we lost B. Basically, what it was was, um, we couldn't really hold down one flag with our party of three because as soon as we leave one flag, um, you know, uh, the the enemies or well, our stupid little split screening teammates, the randoms, they couldn't protect a flag for their lives. And um, matter of fact, they weren't really near the flags most of the game. Um, another big reason why we lost uh, is due to the fact because the randoms was basically because they'd be sitting in far corners of the map. Um, just giving us bad spawns, so, uh, you guys know if you're holding a flag and, you know, you have teammates near a flag, if, uh, if you die near the flag, you won't spawn way out in the middle of nowhere most of the time, you'll spawn pretty close to where, you know, most of your teammates are, where the flag is most of the time, right, because that's your flag. Well, we had teammates that were nowhere near the flags, and they'd just be in random parts of Stonehaven, and they'd spawn us out to the point where we weren't close to the, uh, like, the objective anymore. So we kept getting bad spawns. Um, if you guys remember in har um, Hardpoint, um, you know, you have to rotate early. You have to get those spawns early, right? Because, you know, if you get spawned off a hill, then, uh, you know, that's the whole, you know, it's not good. So that's the whole point of rotating. So uh, it's kind of like that to a certain extent, uh, pretty much, so you can see our random right there, what the fuck is he doing, they'd be sitting in weird spots, just getting us really bad spawns, and we'd have to run all the way just to get to the action again, where, um, you know, the other teammates kept spawning near the objective, just simply because, uh, you know, they were around the objective most of the time, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, 
the two biggest factors of why we lost this game. Um, you know, I really didn't play the greatest myself. I definitely didn't do bad. Um, I think I did pretty good KD-wise, but that really wasn't the biggest point. Um, this team kind of took us out of the objective to the point where we just almost didn't have a chance to come back. Um, you know, they started pulling away around this time um, simply because they started getting organized, and we never got organized throughout the game. And, um, you know, we were all, th me and my three, uh, well, two other teammates that were in my party, we were just scrambling from flag to flag. What we should have done is we should have said, all right, you know, Oko, you stay at B. Chris, which is me, I'll stay at C. And Drake, you stay at A, all right? And if you die, you know, we'll, f we'll figure something out from there. But just camp the flag, basically. And we never really got to something like that because we were so scrambled the whole time. And then when we did die, you know, we get that stupid random spawn. Like, let's see where I spawn. I spawn near B. That one, that spawn wasn't too bad. But if you guys watch this game, um, I'll usually spawn um, pretty much wherever those two split screeners are. They're named Pimp. And uh, I guess they're real pimps for sure. You know, they're too busy pimping it up to, you know, do good at Call of Duty. But, um, yeah, this game right here is also just a proof to people that uh, I do not dashboard. Um, I always get people in pregame lobbies and stuff saying that I'm a dashboarder and that, you know, I don't play, uh, you know, if I ever just lose a game, I'll just quit and my stats are fake. Man, that kind of, it's frustrating at times, but I've gotten to the point where I just don't care what people say because, you know, um, you know, there's people with higher stats. I have, I think, two people on my friends list that have both higher KD and higher win-loss than me. They both have, like, over 100 win-loss and both over 6 KDs. That's uh, what I don't have. But, uh... You know, it's come to the point where I just really don't care what people have to say because they're just not used to seeing something so high and that, uh, you know, the first thing they automatically think is a hacker. And I'm sure back in the day when I thought my stats were high with my 3 KD and my 4 win loss, I'm sure if I saw a KD and win loss like that, I probably would have thought this guy's either a cheater, he's hacking, he, you know, boosts, something like that. So to a certain extent, I don't blame people when they see my stats like that, but, uh, you know, it gets kind of frustrating at times, especially when I, most of the time, I just say, nah, dude, I just play my full party on my host, and, you know, you know, I kind of play slow-paced, you know, I keep my KD up, and they say, no, you're a fucking hacker, all right, then, but, um, this game is pretty much wrapping up at this point, you guys can see by this point, um, you know, their, their whole team was just running support, so they had, uh, those stupid oracles up the whole time, I didn't even have a try-hard class on, which is another reason, but, uh, you know, my tryhard class wouldn't have been the greatest for Stonehaven anyways, because it's usually an SMG for my tryhard class. But, um, yeah, basically around this point in the game, we realized, you know, it's over for sure. So, uh, this, this is pretty much wrapping up the game, guys. Um, there wasn't really a whole lot to break down because the mistakes were really simple. But, anyways, here's the final score. Hope you guys enjoyed this loss of me losing. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.